Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll learn the easiest way to draw a tangent anywhere on the circumference of a circle. Okay, so we're going to begin with our circle, obviously. All right, so we have our circle here and we have a point labeled P, as you can see. And this will be our point of tangency. This is where our tangent will lie. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw two arcs to cut the circumference of the circle. Now P will be the center of our arcs. Right? I'm using a radius of 200 millimeters and you will notice that I'm using the same radius for both arcs. This is very important. You, if you use two different radii for your axe, then your construction will be incorrect. All right, so we have our two axe cutting the circumference and off camera, I went ahead and labeled them. So they are A and B. So these are the points where the axe cut the circumference and there's a line connecting A and B. So we'll call it line AB. And this line is actually parallel to our tangent, believe it or not. What we're going to do now is we're going to bisect line AB. We're going to bisect line AB so that we can get the normal for our tangent. Because you have seen me do this on several occasions, by now I, um, I sped up the video a bit. All right, but you can feel free to slow it down or you may even want to skip past this point. All right, but we have here our normal, that's the bisecting line. And I'm just going to extend it a bit so that it's easier to identify. So this is our normal. The normal is perpendicular to the tangent and we are ready to go. So the only thing that's remaining is our line of tangency, right? Again, as I would have said earlier, line AB will be parallel to our tangent. So if you wanted at this point, you could have drawn a parallel line at point P and that would have been accurate, All right? But we don't want any shortcuts. We want to go through the full nine yards. So here we are constructing a 90 degree angle to our normal. Now this line that is at 90 degrees to our normal will be our parallel. Again, I sped it up because I've done the 90 degree construction before, but you can feel free to slow it down if you like. And we have already done the tangent. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change the layer so that it's easier to identify. And there we have it. This is how you draw a tangent at any point on the circumference of a circle. I trust that you'd have learned something from this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.